Hello my little teacups and welcome back to Shady Pines. It's been a while and we're starting with a tale of woe, a tale of embarrassment. I had made all my residents these beautiful fruit wreaths for their front door. I occasionally do a seasonal delivery you may have seen. This time however I delivered all of them but one and then realised that none of it is recorded and I'd saved and exited the game and there was nothing I could do so we've missed all that I'm afraid. We do still have one to deliver and that is to Azalea um, and then after that we're gonna have to do something else so how about we build that um, tiki beach for Broccolo. Let's go and find Azalea. I do love this area but sometimes it just gets so overgrown so quick. So here we are, this is Dobie's house I think and he's put up the wreath. Good guy Dobie, enjoying him being on the island and here's Azalea's house, this is the one remaining house, of course she's not home, the one remaining house uh, that still needs a wreath because I've even done my own front door. Where is she, where is she? Azalea! Azalea? Az ah, there you are, behind the tree. Oh, and here's Dobie too. I'm, I'm just talking to Azalea, Dobie. You've had your present. Where is it? The last one. There you go, Azalea. Do you like it? Oh, I'm glad you like it. Dobie is so in the way right now. Oh, you've given me a rumba dress. So that's another thing that happens. I end up with a load of clothes every time I do a delivery. Go on, let's have a chat. You know this island better than most. You're a bit new, to be honest, Dobie. Okay, so we need to move Broccolo's home. He has to live on the beach now. Um, I decided that he's that cool kind of bartender mouse. Yeah, that's what he's going to be. He's going to run a tiki bar at the beach. It's going to be the cool hangout. Everyone's going to bring their families there when the families come to visit. It's going to be a real asset to Shady Pines. However, I'm not thrilled that I have to pay 10,000 bells to upgrade this island, Tom. Um, you're meant to be the boss. I just work here. Okay, Broccolo, you're happy for me to move your home? I think you're gonna love it. Thank you. It will be a cool new spot, you're right. Thanks, Broccolo. Bye for now. Okay, so I will have been given a little kit, I think. I think I've done this before, haven't I? A moving kit, that's right. So somewhere on the beach, well, this is where I put all the stuff, lots of stuff that's going to be useful. But is this spot going to be big enough to actually put a house? Because I've got those flowers there and that's going to be a real pain to dig each one of them up individually. Should we do it over this side of the bridge? It is a much longer space. I don't know whether we should put the house on the grass, looking out onto the beach or actually on the beach. Quite like it on the edge by the bridge, but this spot might work. Let's just see what it looks like here. Will it even fit where I want it to go? Let's have a sneaky peek. Oh, that's okay, isn't it? So there's still plenty of space in front because I didn't want him to step out and fall into the water. <laughs> He's just a little mouse. So now all I need to do is wait till the next day and some, some people will have worked some magic and there'll be a house here. Rumour is it's Tommy and Timmy. 
don't say you heard it from me. The next day has arrived and the house is here. I've moved over. I've moved over all that stuff that was on the other beach to use on this beach. We're going to start off with one of my worst things, the paths. I wish there was a faster way to make paths. I've got some custom design paths that are kind of like boardwalk on the beach. Very appropriate, I thought. So we'll do some outsider's house and then if it looks good, we'll, we'll take it along the beach, right along the beach. I already like it, already like it. So this is me in fast forward mode. I don't work this quickly, really. Uh, should we change the shape? Let's change the shape. And go, go, go. On round the tree instead of moving the tree. I thought, keep nature as it is. Why mess with nature? Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of tiki torches. A lot of them. I'm thinking like 10. Does that seem overkill? We're doing it. I mean, I don't know how many we can make. It might only be five. So be it. I was shaking trees for a long time for these sticks. A long, long time. Oh, at least we get a little, uh, a little reward as well. Right. Does Broccolo want a chair right outside his house? I think he does, you know. I've placed down a stall. That's going to be one of the bars. Going to have a few bars along the way here. And we're going to place some drinks on there eventually. I haven't made them yet, though. So what else do people want at a beach resort? They want places to sunbathe. They definitely do. They want cute decor, places to sunbathe. And apparently uh, they want more paths. More paths it is. So down here is the little, um, what do you call this? Not a pier, what do you call that? That's going to annoy me. So we're going to link it up anyway to where you get on the boat. What do you call it? It's not a pier, is it a pier? It's not the pier. It's not a port, is it? Wow, it's a jetty, a jetty teapot. We're linking up the path to the jetty. Easy as that, what was wrong with me, honestly? Okay, the foundations are in place and I'm quite pleased with how this is looking. I have made a few little drinkies, some boba tea. Doesn't everyone love a boba tea at the moment? Some people call it a bubble tea. I think it depends what kinds of boba. Um, I, for one, quite love them. No, I didn't place it. And I thought I will try and make some of those coconut drinks because we are on the beach. So I've placed down a nice ice cream um, freezer chest because what is a beach trip without ice cream, honestly? Be rubbish, wouldn't it? Lots of decor going on. Some of this you'll recognise from the carnival season. Um, it's perfect for the beach. Lots of umbrellas going on. Lots of good colours, lots of tassels. However, the placement is a little bit frustrating. Of course, it can get closer than that. But hey ho, is what it is. Okay, lots more product placements. We're going to need lots of seating. There are members of this retirement community, such as Jan Bet, for example, who, when her family come to stay, there are actually eight who come to visit. Um, who knew frogs had so many babies? I guess it's all the frog spawn. But they have babies, they bring their babies' babies. 
and so on and so forth. There are little frogs everywhere and it is great, but sometimes they just want to sit down and I don't have enough chairs. So we're providing the beach equipment for full family occasions. Beach towels, beach chairs, we've got sun lounges, we've got umbrellas. We can't walk around the towel, that's going to have to shift it. Let's try over this way instead. What if I get it just under the under the tree? Oh, I meant like the other way. Let's try the other way. Okay, yes, that looks better. It fits into that little path nook very well and we can walk around it. And here's something else for the kids that I found. The inflatable flamingo. Do you know I might try and find? I'm pretty sure you can order um, items that you've had before in in the plaza. Didn't I get some um, some standing flamingos? I think I did. I should I should maybe go overboard with them as well. Now which chair is which chair here? giving me no descriptions in the titles at all. I must remember to not block up too much of getting on and off the path because we don't want to be stuck on the path. We also want to be able to get onto the path from the beach. Oh, isn't that perfectly placed in front of that little archway of bunting? Oh, I, I like that. Um, Oh, that's that kind of chair. Okay, that's pink. I'm going to put it by the pink flamingo. Definitely deserve to be together. That's not it. This is the one. Okay. Okay, let's shove it over a little bit. Get some shade from the tree. I forgot I had a surfboard. That should maybe go by the jetty. I remembered the word. The jetty. Yeah, like that. Okay, isn't it starting to look really good? So just one more item here. And I have just remembered that way down at the other end of the beach, there might be a couple of things that I can bring up this way. That'll just work better up here. Oh, better line these up. I can't have them wonky. Oh yeah, I am loving this. Yeah, could definitely stay here all day. So I've placed a little radio for some beach tunes. I've hidden it behind the surfboard. And I got these custom designs. Um, so this one is meant to look like someone has drawn some shells. Shell, shell shapes, that's so hard for me to say, into the sand. And I have some actual shell looking ones, which I thought pastel colours are going to be cute gonna be cute so we'll put some around just brings everything together a bit doesn't it I think there was another one that's it let's, let's place a couple of them wherever they fit as if it wouldn't fit there come on now come on oh Let's not get annoyed at myself for doing that to the par. See, easily fixed. No need to get frustrated. I would like a quicker way to toggle between designs um, for future Animal Crossing games. That would be great. Thank you. Lifeguard chair. So this is one of the things I've just brought up from the other end of the beach. And then... Oh, that towel's going to really annoy me, I can tell. Beach towel annoyances. Um, then this, which I just love. I don't love it that way. Ignore it for now. Ignore it for now. Ignore it for now till I spin it round. There. Isn't that great? I think, it's, I think these are like koi fish. Uh, it's not easy to move. 
I don't know how I'm going to hope it fits into this gap where I want it to go. That's okay, but I think it's going to be really annoying to walk around, isn't it? From both ways. Should I try and squeeze it in a bit more? Is it going to get behind those chairs? Please go in. Okay. Oh, it's gone in well further than I thought it might. Hmm, I might have to fiddle, around, fiddle, fiddle around with which one is um, the best spot. I made some coconut milk. I thought, let's put some yellow flowers down. And we're nearly finished, you know. Oh, see this towel. This towel. Gonna annoy me. Maybe that'll stop me from walking into it all the time. I did not mean to do that, but now you've all had a close-up of what the coconut milk looks like. And I've got one more. Hmm. Oh, it, it, I could fit a flower there, I know it. Look at the size of that gap. Come on now. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the flowers. It's not something you'd see on a traditional beach, but we're not so traditional here, are we? I don't know where I'm going to put the last drink. I don't have to use it, but do you think it'll fit on... Can we place things on top of this ice cream bar? No. Okay, I'll think on that one then. Think about it. You know, I might just have to drink it. It doesn't want to live anywhere. So, shall we do the walkthrough? I am loving this spot that we've created today. Uh, I hope Broccolo likes it because, well, it's tough really. He lives here now. So here we are outside Broccolo's house. We've got his chair, um, which is a beautiful shade of pink. And we've got our first bar which I can see him serving at. We've got some lovely places to doze and to sunbathe and just to enjoy the, the sounds of the waves. We've got a second bar, we've got more beds, more sunbeds with umbrella. We've got lots of tiki torches. I bet this place looks lovely in the evening. I did not know this. We can change our clothes at the ice cream freezer. Uh, good to know, good to know why are we keeping clothes in there we've got more chairs and the flamingo and then it takes us onto this lovely little jetty for if you want to enjoy a leisurely boat ride just loving it yeah this this is gonna stay this will definitely stay so thank you so much for joining me on this little build today i hope you've all enjoyed it I have a few ideas about what we might do next time. We still have to build Jambet an area to live. She's all on her own. We've got to do something. I've also thought maybe a little flower shop might be nice somewhere. And I know that next Saturday, the fireworks start. Uh, I think it's Saturday evenings at seven, all through August. It's a fireworks show, so I might do a little mini episode then. So don't forget to like, subscribe and join me next time. Teapot signing out.